You too. What's good, y'all, man? It's your boy Kwan, and I am back with another video, man. And we are on Vlogging Miss Day 10. It's been so hell, bro, going through all these days, posting, trying to post every day. Like, it's stressful as hell. But in today's Vlogging Miss video, I got y'all a QA. I posted a story asking y'all to ask me questions for a QA on YouTube. And y'all, you know what I'm saying, asked a couple questions. I screenshotted the questions, as y'all can see. Got some questions right here. I'm just gonna go through and answer these questions. But before we hop into the video, I wanna let y'all know to watch the whole video because I gotta answer some questions that y'all have been asking me for the longest. So with that being said, let's hop straight into today's video. All right, man, starting off with the first question. Somebody asked, what's your dream car? My dream car, I have two dream cars. The first one is a Rolls Royce Cullinan. If y'all know what that is, y'all know what that is. If y'all don't, y'all don't. But I wanna get a Rolls Royce Cullinan. I want a wide body. That shit's gonna be so hard. It's gonna be all black. It's gonna be crazy. But Rolls Royce Cullinan and second dream car would have to be a McLaren 600, a 600LT McLaren. If y'all know what that is, y'all know what it is with the exhaust poking out the top or the back. Man, that shit beautiful. If YouTube stopped today, what would you do and where would you be right now? I ain't gonna lie, if like YouTube just completely vanished off the face of this earth, I would I would probably like lock in on clothing. Like my clothing brand, I would lock in on that because right now I'm in the works of getting everything sorted out with that. Like it's so stressful when you got, when you a one man team and you got so much to do. Like when I started a clothing brand, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect for it to get as big as it got so quickly. And I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of overwhelming. Like now I got a team, so I got a team working on all my stuff. But before or it was just like all me. As of today, now I have a team, but before I didn't have a team. So all my previous drops on my clothing brand, I did on my own. But now further on from today, I have a team working with me that's gonna help me get all the orders out and everything done in a fashionably manner. So with that being said, on to the next question. If I stopped YouTube, what would I be doing right now? Selling clothes. That's really what I'd be doing, traveling the world. But how does it feel to be so young and already have so much accomplished? I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I have, I have accomplished a lot of stuff, but uh, I feel as if like I want more life. I want way more than what I already got. Like, yeah, what I got, cool, but I don't ever want to be comfortable. Like, I want to work to always get to the next level. So, that's how I feel about accomplishing so much at my age. That update on the Trackhawk sort of, I did indeed drop the Trackhawk off. That, that was supposed to be yesterday's vlog. I'm gonna just add it to the end of this Q&A. So if y'all wanna see that video, it's gonna be at the end of this Q&A. I had to drop the Trackhawk off to get fixed and they told me I needed a new door. So I'm waiting on them to get me prices on a new door. I gotta pay for the new door. I gotta wait for the new door to come. Then once the new door come, they gonna put it on and they gotta wrap the door. But yeah, that's the update on the Trackhawk. On to the next question. Somebody said, what's your next car? So my next car is, I want a Mercedes Benz. Like. I'm really over the Hellcat. I ain't gonna say I'm over the Trackhawk shit, but cause I love my Trackhawk. But I feel like my my next car I want it to be some cool, classy, and luxury. I'm going Benz. I wanna go AMG GT. Not AMG GT. I wanna go AMG C63S, Mercedes Benz, coupe. It gotta be a coupe. All right, next question, somebody said, what inspired you to do YouTube and your clothing brand? You're my biggest inspiration. Much love to you gang, and I, I appreciate that I'm your biggest inspiration. Like, I honestly appreciate that. But what inspired me to do YouTube? So it was two YouTubers that inspired me to do YouTube. One goes by, well, really three. One, the first one goes by the name of DDG. Everybody really all the, everybody know DDG, bro. I don't care what you say, you know DDG. That's really the the main, my main inspiration with YouTube. Like I seen what he was doing and how young he was doing it. And I was just, I was young as hell myself. I'm still the youngest, I'm still young as hell myself. Like I was in high school watching him. I was like, damn. This nigga really doing his thing. Like, I've been watching DD, bro. I've been watching bro since he was in college with Essence. Like, that's number one. Number two, I would have to say Casey Neistat. His vlogs is crazy. Number three would have to be Roman Atwood. If y'all know who that is, I know who that is. And I can just go down a list of all the old YouTubers I used to watch, but I'm not gonna do that. Those are the top three people that inspired me. Somebody said, what made you not give up? The biggest thing, what made me not give up on YouTube was I didn't want to go to college, bro. That's really like, that was the main thing. Like, I, coming out of high school, I was doing YouTube and I did not want to go to college. So once, like around the time when I was graduating, I had started making money from YouTube. So it was like, all right, now I'm starting to make money. I don't really got to go to college. So I showed my mom my YouTube checks and shit like that. She was like, all right, we're gonna see how this go. Cause my mom, at first she was like, you're going to college, this and that. And then my back in my head, I'm like, bro, I don't want to go to college and I don't want to work a job. So what the fuck am I going to do? Mind y'all, I worked, I got a job in 12th grade. I worked at Walmart for one day. Like I went to the orientation and I went to work one day. My first day working at Walmart, I walked out. Okay, so let me tell you how I went. I went to work at Walmart. I'm there for a couple hours. They're like, boom, you can take your lunch break. So I go to Zaxby's. Zaxby's is like right next to Walmart. I go to Zaxby's, I get my Zaxby's. Whole time while I'm walking to Zaxby's and walking back, after I ate, I'm just like, bro, this shit not me. Like, I know for a fact, like, working ain't for me. Mind you, I've already had got like two YouTube checks already. Like, I've been paid from YouTube twice 
before I got a job. I wanted to get a job to see like how was it like working because I never had a job. Before. I used to get money from my mom like for making good grades. Like I had to make good grades in school just to get money type shit. And I would say that money to get shoes and things of that nature. But that's besides the point. So yeah, I got a job at Walmart and I quit my first day. Like, I walked out my first day and I never went back and I never worked a job again. But that is that. On to the next question. How did you get the money to afford your cars in a specific track hall? I gotta get me one. All right, y'all. So I don't know if anybody told y'all, but you don't necessarily need all the money in the world to get the cars that I have, but you have to build credit. Credit will take you this far. Like credit will take you far as hell. Like I didn't get to where I'm at without credit. I don't spend cash on cars. I'm not going to the car dealership, dropping a hundred thousand dollars on cars. I don't know if that's what y'all think, but that's not what's happening. I built my credit up from when I was young. Actually, my mom was helping me build my credit before I turned 18. If y'all don't know, y'all can do that. Y'all can establish credit before you turn 18. So before you turn 18, matter of fact, I ain't even gonna put y'all on all the game. Go subscribe to the Patreon, the top link in the description down below. I'm finna start dropping hella videos on there. So if y'all wanna know how to build your credit, hit the top link in the description down below. Y'all wanna find out how to make money or how to get things that you think you need to pay cash for, but you don't, go subscribe to the Patreon. So with that being said, on to the next question. Somebody said, when you begun your journey, was it harder at the beginning or now? Okay, so starting off, well, first off, let me answer the question. So I wanna say, it's like, it go back and forth. Cause in the beginning, you don't gotta worry about people looking at everything you do or people waiting on you to post. It's just you in the beginning, you don't have nobody watching you. You don't got nobody criticizing you. It's just nothing. It's just you and yourself and you trying to build an audience. But when you get viewers and you get people watching, you get people looking up to you, you gotta watch how you say things and you gotta watch how you approach certain situations. And you gotta watch how you do certain things on the internet. So that's why I say it's like they go hand in hand because it was hard as hell to get to where I'm at But it's also hard as hell to maintain where I'm at. I could do something or say something boom cancel niggas love to cancel people That's why I don't really speak too much on Instagram like I post the picture, I post my stories here and there, I do my promos here and there, gone. I don't say too much, I don't feed into the bullshit that everybody else got going on. I stay to, I stick to what I'm doing, I'm working, on to the next. So yeah, that's that. <clears throat> that's how I think that answers that question. What keeps you motivated every day? What keeps me motivated now is my bills. I have to pay my bills. I'm the only one that pays all of my bills. Nobody else helps me, nobody else loans me money, nobody gives me money. I gotta pay all my bills. The first of the month or whenever them bills is due, it comes out of my pocket. So that's what keeps motivated every day i gotta pay bills and i got crazy i got like my bills is a crazy amount i got a hellcat i got a track hawk i got a penthouse i got a lifestyle that i gotta keep up with that i like to live on my own like i like to go buy nice shoes i like to go buy nice clothes like i just consider that a bill and gas in the car that's another bill itself like them gas in them cars ain't cheap my nigga so yeah i gotta pay my own bills that when it's time to pay the bills i gotta pay my own bills so that's what keep me motivated every day on to the next question all right y'all the camera's about to die I just plugged it up so we are back on to the next question so this question is the reason why I'm filming this whole YouTube video. Like this question is the main reason why I'm filming this YouTube video. I'm here to address what y'all, what I keep seeing on TikTok, what I keep seeing on Instagram comments. I'm here to address it all. So the question is, even when I post it on my story, I got other people asking me this. The question is, somebody said, what's your opinion on motherfuckers saying you a scammer and that your LLC is a cover up? So with that being said, since y'all so invested in my life and how I make money, I'm gonna break it down from the beginning. So if you wanna sit and watch, sit and watch. If you wanna screen record, get your TikTok clips in, do that. I'm here to tell y'all niggas everything. Cause y'all so, everybody go based off what they see on the internet. They don't know me personally. I seen people, some people even in TikTok comments, they say, I know Quan, he told me what well, is what he do. He told me he's a scammer. Quan never said that and I don't know you my nigga. So you in the TikTok comments, you saying that? I don't know you. So with that being said, let's go ahead and address everything. So if you wanna screen record, screen record, do what you gotta do. So this is how we gonna do it. We gonna start from the very beginning. My first YouTube channel. I started my first YouTube channel in 2015. I could pull it up right now. Hold on. I started my first YouTube channel in 2015. I was posting 2K content, which was my Poppy Q channel originally. As y'all can see, my first YouTube channel, 173,000 subscribers. I started this channel June 25th, 2015, if y'all can see it. So, boom, that's where I started. I was posting 2K content, like mixtape, shit like that. Y'all know what young niggas do when they playing 2K and they posting 2K videos. Yeah, I was him. I was that young nigga back in the day. Editing my little 2K mixtapes on the Share Factory, posting 2K videos, watching 2K videos, all that. I wanted to be a gaming YouTuber. That's what I thought I was gonna do. I thought I was gonna be a gamer. But, boom, posting 2K videos. Then I switched it up. I started doing some IRL content in like 2016 going off into high school because 2016 is when I was going off into high school. I started doing some in real life videos, some challenges, shit like that. I was not consistent at all. Like I would post every now and then and I was just going about my going about my life. But at the end of the day, I always knew I wanted to be a YouTuber. Let's not let that get past us. So 
2016 go by, I'm in ninth grade. I'm a freshman at high school. Mind you, before YouTube, I've already had over 40,000 followers on Instagram. Like, I had a following on Instagram before YouTube. Like, before YouTube came to play, Poppy Q was already a person. Like, Poppy Q, I was already Poppy Q. I've been Poppy Q since middle school. Like, that name has been here forever. So, with that being said, just letting y'all know. With that being said, we're going off into high school. I'm not consistent on YouTube at all. So high school come, ninth grade come, I did a video on YouTube. It was a lyric prank. My that lyric prank is still on that YouTube channel to this day. The Poppy Q channel is still on, it's still up there to this day. I did a lyric prank when I was in ninth grade. And I remember my bro JT telling me like, bro, I feel like you, you could be a YouTuber. I remember this shit like it was yesterday. Like he probably don't even remember this, but I remember this. He seen the video, I guess. It got like a thousand views. He was like, bro, like, I see you doing YouTube. He, it is not exactly what he said, because I don't remember exactly what he said, but he said something along the lines as you, you you can be a YouTuber, you're gonna be a YouTuber or some shit like that, I swear to God. He told me that, and in the back of my head, I already knew like, that's what I wanted to do, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. Like, he said he could see me as a YouTuber. It was something, I don't know exactly what he said, but but that was besides the point. So, I did a lyric prank, it got a thousand views. I was like, yo, what the fuck, I'm gonna make it out. Like, I'm gonna, I'm going global, like, a thousand views? What the fuck, that's a lot of views, because before, on 2K videos, I wasn't getting no views, I was getting like 200 views, 300 views. And it was really me refreshing my, my damn videos over and over. So, yeah. That happened, did a lyric prank, boom. Posted that video, got a thousand views. I'm so stuck in the head that, damn, I just got a thousand views, I'm not posting, like, what the fuck? I just stopped posting, stopped posting for months. Now after that, I did, I think I did a couple more videos, and then I started streaming Fortnite. Majority of y'all know what the game Fortnite is. I started streaming Fortnite, boom. I was streaming every day after school, eight hours, five hours, every day, like every day, back to back to back to back. Some of y'all remember if y'all been watching me for that long, but some of y'all don't, cause a lot of y'all are new. And so I was streaming back to back to back, boom. I'm not catching no traction, like I'm streaming every day for hours and hours nobody is watching me like i probably got two views max every day and me personally i i've been playing the game so why not stream it just in case like somebody was to see me i'm gonna get that view and i would do like giveaways and shit back in the day giveaways that was the way to go if you say if you put giveaway in your stream like on your title of your stream you're gonna get views so when like 2k came out i'd be like i have some little money to the side that i got because i used to get money for making good grades in school so I used to put a little money to the side because I never worked a job. Well, I worked a job. I told y'all that whole situation, but yeah. But this was before I had a job. So I wasn't making money on YouTube. I wasn't, I didn't have a job. My only source of income was, I used to resell the shoes I had or I would get money from making good grades in school. So what I would do is I put like a $20 PS, I get like a $20 PSN card, like two or three of them. I start streaming, boom. In the title of the stream, it'll say giveaway. That's how you attract the views. So you get them views in, you make them subscribe with the Woot. If you want to, if you want to enter the giveaway, subscribe with the Woot. They subscribe, you get your views, you got your subscriber, and boom, you give away the card. So that's what I was doing every now and then to get my, my subscriber count up. But this was before I realized that you don't need subscribers to get paid from YouTube. Once you reach that thousand subscriber threshold and you get monetized, subscribers mean nothing at all. Like every, your growth in subscribers is really just a milestone thing for yourself. And it's also an image thing. So like, if you if you got 100,000 subscribers versus somebody with 1,000 subscribers, nine times out of 10, you watching right now, you're gonna to subscribe to the person with 100,000 subscribers because you're gonna be like, Oh, he already solidified. He already doing his thing. I'm gonna subscribe to him rather than subscribing to the nigga with a thousand due to the fact that you're like, uh, he ain't really nobody type shit. That's just how y'all think. I know that for a fact. I swear to God, because I've been doing this shit for too long. But okay, so boom. So I was streaming Fortnite every day after school. Boom, boom. Doing the giveaways. Boom, boom. I think I had probably like a couple hundred subscribers, probably 800 subscribers. Then months go by, months go by, I'm still streaming, still streaming Fortnite. Then this thing called Customs in Fortnite came out when you could, you could, you get a customs code and you could play with your supporters like, everybody join the lobby. I used to do, what's that shit was called? Hold on, I'm about to pull this shit up, bro, because I literally got everything right here. Like, I swear to God, I'm finna show y'all niggas, since y'all so invested in my life and how I make bread, I'm gonna take y'all a trip down memory lane. So we're going to the Poppy Q channel, we're finna scroll. That's what it's called. I used to do uh, Zone Wars on Fortnite. That's exactly what I used to do. I got the screenshot right here. If y'all need proof. Y'all yeah, see them hours of videos? I was doing this shit every day. Six hours, five hours, five hours, four hours, three hours, four hours, six hours, every day. So after doing that for a certain amount of time, I started catching traction. Once I started catching traction on YouTube, I was like, all right, it's my time. So I can't stop, I gotta keep going, keep going, keep going. Mind you, I don't reach over a thousand subscribers. I probably had like 2.3K or some shit along, some some along them lines. Got them 2K subscribers, whoop the whoop. Then I'm I'm on the road to get it monetized. Every day the shit just growing. My watch hours going up. You need 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers to get monetized on YouTube. Once you get both of them, they send you an email, you just go from there. So, boom, I'm almost, I'm this close to getting monetized this close after streaming for all the months and months and months. I'm so close to getting monetized. So boom, I'm like hella close. I got like 3,800 
watch hours from streaming every fucking day, every day. I got them watch hours. I ain't gonna lie, Fortnite is the reason why like I kept being a little consistent on YouTube at the time. So boom, I get the watch hours around the time when I'm gonna get monetized. I got a strike on my channel for some music or some, it was something in a stream that happened in a stream and I got a strike on my channel. So if you have a strike on your channel and you close to getting monetized or you almost monetized, or even if you're ready to be monetized, but you get a strike, they're not gonna monetize you. And I had a strike on my channel for three months or six months, I believe that's what it was. I couldn't stream at all. So I couldn't stream, no gameplay, I couldn't stream nothing. I can't even go live on YouTube like at all. It's something that's not a feature for me no more since I got a strike. So boom, I get a strike right when I'm about to get monetized. That shit brought me from here to here. I was like, y'all was just doing so good. Like all my hard work was paying off. Boom, dead. YouTube dead, I can't stream. What the fuck am I gonna do now? So I'm like, all right, I got a little traction. I got a little audience. Some, pe some people know who I am. Some people just come to watch the Fortnite. But we somewhere, we, we, not, we not really necessarily all the way at the bottom where we was when we had no eyes on us. We, we getting somewhere. Even though we got a strike, we getting somewhere. So I'm like, all right, I can't let this momentum go to waste. What I did was I started posting IRL videos again, in real life videos, vlogs, pranks, challenges, shit like that. Public interviews, all that. I was trying to find a way that was going to be my way out to, oh, but when you coming up, you need that one video to blow. Once you get that one video to blow, if you keep the momentum up, you good. So boom, I was trying to find that one video to blow for me. As y'all know, back in the day, or yeah, like years ago, a couple years ago, it, the, the school the school videos was hitting, like the clothing hauls, the get ready with me's, all that, like everybody used to watch them videos. So I was like, boom, my mom did a crazy back to school shopping haul for me, like crazy, cause I was going in the senior year, bro. So she was like, you been doing good in school, your grades been right, I'm gonna get you right. And I ain't gonna lie, my mom was strict as fuck. Like, she was the type of person, like, if you get a C, you're in trouble, like, punishment, phone taken, this taken, this taken. I had to go to bed. Bro, when I was in high school, I had a bedtime of, like, up until I was a senior, I had a bedtime, bro. Like, my bedtime was 10 o'clock, and then when I became a senior, she pushed it back to 11, and she wasn't so, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't so hard on me when I became a senior. But before that, bedtime at 10 o'clock. Mind you, I got two younger siblings, so we all had the same bedtime. I'm in whatever grade I was in, my younger brother and younger sister in like second grade, we got the same bedtime. I'm in 10th grade, then second grade. I don't even remember what grade they was in when I was in 10th grade, but I'm just gonna put it like that. Just to say I was in 10th grade, they was in third grade, fourth grade, whatever, and we had the same bedtime up until I was a damn senior in high school. That shit, but my life as a kid was crazy. I got a crazy story to tell. But that's besides the point. So boom, I'm, I'm grinding my ass up. I get a strike. I'm like, boom, what can I do? So I post real life videos. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna do a get ready. I'm gonna do a get ready with me. And I'm back to school clothing haul because back to school clothing haul. Back to school is coming around. My mom just got me hella shit. So I'm like, all right, cool. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna post this clothing haul and I'm gonna take a fire ass thumbnail. Back in the day, it was a great thumbnail. But now I look back at it, it was ass. So boom, I take the thumbnail, I post it. It's doing a little good, it's doing all right. Then it's like a couple days go by overnight, that shit shot up 20K, 30K, 40K, 50K, 60K. And I'm just growing a new thousand subscribers every day. I'm like, like I go to sleep at 4,000 subscribers, wake up 6,000 subscribers. Like that shit was insane. Like it felt like, I felt like I was about to be on my road to success. Like I thought I was about to be a damn superstar. So once that happened, from there on, from there on out, I never stopped YouTube. Like I was like, all right, so they fucking with the clothing. They fucking with me and the clothing. So I'm gonna keep doing clothing. Like clothing, I guess that's my way out. Like I guess clothing is my thing. So I'm gonna keep doing clothing. And I always was like, okay, so before I got into clothes, I was like, I was like into shoes, like very heavy. Like I would try to have one of the best shoes, the coolest shoes, the cleanest shoes when I was in school. So I was like, transition to clothing was not that hard due to the fact that I was already a sneakerhead when I was young. So I'm in clothes now. I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm, it's getting views. I'm gonna keep doing clothes. I keep doing clothes. I keep, I keep doing clothes. Years go on. It's about the end of senior year. Uh, I made a goal to reach 20K subscribers before September or October. I got the screenshot in my phone. I kid you not. I swear to God. May, I passed over 20,000 subscribers way before that goal. Like, Y'all know how when you go to school and you write down on your sheet of paper what's your goals for the year? Woo -woo. I wrote that down. 20,000 subscribers by October or September, whatever it was. And I reached that shit way before then because I know you start school in August. I wrote that down. I was like, boom, I need 20K by this. I passed that shit way before. So mind you, all the time I'm doing YouTube, I still don't got a job. I'm still not getting paid just yet because I still had to strike on my channel from for like three to six months. I forgot what it was. So boom, I remember this day like it was yesterday. I'm laying down in my bed in my mom's house and I was finna take a nap. I take a nap, I wake up from my nap. I check my phone. It has said, you have been accepted into YouTube monetization. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, all right, it's about that time. I run down and I show my mom, I kid you not, I swear to God, I show my mom, I'm like, Mom finna start getting paid. Y'all know how other people are, they like, 
They know about YouTube, but they don't really know about YouTube. So I'm like, I show them my YouTube, I show them when they start getting paid on YouTube. She was the happy as hell for me. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I honestly appreciate my mom because she had my back through it all. Like, even though I told her I didn't want to go to college, she still supported me for doing YouTube. So I show her that and I'm like, I'm not going to college, mom. I'm telling you, I'm gonna work my ass off, I'm gonna do this, and this is gonna be that. So boom, now I'm monetized on YouTube. I'm still doing the clothing. I'm going crazy with the clothing. I got hella video ideas. I'm just pumping them out. Boom, boom, boom. It comes to the point where I get my first YouTube check. My first YouTube check was like 2,000 something, something. Like $2,700. If you in school, if you're a high schooler, and you get a check for $2,700 after not never getting, not never having a job, or not never getting paid that much before, you be like, what the fuck? Like, nigga, I'm him. Like, all right, we, we get somewhere. So we get somewhere. So boom, I got my first YouTube check. What did I do? I spent everything on a camera setup. I bought a new camera, a mic, a tripod. And I think I bought some shoes. And that was that whole paycheck like that. I invested into myself because I knew that's what I wanted to do. And I like having good quality, like good quality videos and shit like that. So I invested into myself, boom. Doing YouTube, doing YouTube, boom, boom. And I, I know this shit kind of long, but I'm just breaking it down to y'all because y'all think y'all know it all, but y'all don't. So I'm doing fashion and shit, doing the fashion YouTube, boom, boom, boom. I graduate high school, okay, cool. Now what? I don't want to go to college. I'm now making money from YouTube and I don't have a car. So my first car was a Challenger. I remember we put down $4,000 on that car. It was a 20, what is it, 2016 Challenger? Yeah, because I always said I wanted my first car to be a Challenger and now it's time to get and now it's time to get my car. Like I'm 17 years old, I just got my license. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get a whip. Got a 2016 Dodge Challenger, it was gray. And yeah, I love I love like I was so happy to get that car. I, I didn't even know how to drive when I got the car. So boom, I get that car, and that's when I slowly started. I, was, I started watching YouTube videos on cars and I slowly started getting more into cars. I've, I've always liked cars, but I wasn't as into it as I was when I got my first car. I got my first car, it was an SXT B6 Challenger. Mind you, I didn't know, I didn't really know too much about cars when I got it. My mom put it in her name because I'm 17, you can't get a car at 17 in your name. So my mom put it in her name, put the money down, whoop, whoop, boom, got my first B, my first whip. So I'm driving everywhere. I'm going to the gas station back and forth just to get snacks because I got a car, nigga. I'm, nigga, I wanted to, I drove everywhere. I used to pick JT and Mara up. We used to be around the whole damn Atlanta, nigga. That's when COVID hit because we got out of school when COVID started coming around. And then, nigga, we was outside almost every day in my first car lot. I was just happy as hell to have a car and drive it. Y'all know how it is when y'all get y'all first car. If y'all don't, y'all gonna see how it is when y'all get y'all first car. But yeah, that's besides the point. So get my first car, 2016 SXT Challenger, boom. Still doing YouTube at this time. Still doing YouTube, still doing the fashion. Now it's easier for me to do the... All right, y'all, the camera just died again. Today is my last day having one camera. I only got one, I mean one battery. I only got one battery for this camera. But I'm gonna continue telling the story and if it die again, I'm just gonna let it die and I'm gonna let it charge and I'm gonna come sit back down and tell you the rest of the story. So, boom, I forgot where I left off at, but I remember I was talking about me getting my first car, so we're just gonna go start from there. Got my first car, I'm still doing the clothing videos. Woo -woo. All right, so now what? I was doing the clothing videos. I was just continue growing on my Poppy Q channel. If y'all don't know, that's my first channel. I was continue growing on there. And at this time, I'm not looking back at streaming. I'm not looking back at gaming because like, it's, that's over with. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm I do clothes now. I guess I do clothes. That's what I ran with. I'm gonna do clothes. I'm a clothing YouTuber. That's what I do. So boom. Um, months go by. Months go by. And now I get my second car. My second car was a Scat Pack Charger. It was white. It was a 2018. I will never forget that car. Now with this car, my mom was iffy about it. She was like, "All right, I know you want this car. You've been doing good." And she co-signed me. If y'all don't know what a co-sign is, a co-signer is where they sign on your car with you to help you get the car. So she co-signed me, I put the money down. I only put down $2,000 because my mom has great credit. So I put down $2,000, got my scat pack, my note was 600 a month, boom. I'm like, all right, that's cool. I'm getting paid from YouTube, I'm valid. Get my second car, which was a scat pack. I'm still making car, still making content, doing the fashion, woo woo months go by, boom. So like, I got hella cars, hella fast due to my credit, bro. Like my mom was building my credit for me when I was, before I turned 18, like she had me as an authorized user on her cars, all this and that. So, mom, shout out to you, I love you, I appreciate you. Because without you, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at today. But, yeah, that's that. So I'm like, all right, Scat Pack, cool. But I like challenges. My first car was a Challenger. I like challenges. I wanna go get a Challenger. This time around, it's time to get a Hellcat. We went from B6, Scat Pack, to Hellcat. I got a Hell, I got a 2017 Hellcat Challenger. Why I bought it, did all this and that. Y'all know it, y'all know it, I don't, I don't know to tell you. Boom, I'm like, all right, I want a Hellcat. I tell my mom, she like, all right, now you just got the scat pack. I'm not gonna cuss on you again. If you want the Hellcat, you gotta get on your own. So I'm like, fair enough. Like, I appreciate you for what you did, but now it's time to move on to, you know what I'm saying? I gotta do my own thing now. 
So boom, I go to trade in the scat pack. I get the Hellcat. No, mind you, my scat pack started having issues. This is why I wanted to get the Hellcat. This is why I wanted to come. My scat pack started having issues. And I, like, even Dodge didn't know what the fuck was going on. So I still got the vlogs on this channel too. If y'all want to go watch them, like, my scat pack was fucking up and I didn't know what to do. So I was like, it's time to upgrade. Boom, I told my mom that I wanted a new car. She like, you got to get it on your own now. I helped you. Now it's time to get it on your own. With, with like the whole credit situation. Cause I didn't have, you can have a, a high credit score, but low history and the shit means nothing. Like your credit score means nothing if you don't got no good history or the length of your history. Like that shit means nothing if it, you don't got none. So with that being said, my scat pack started messing up. I wanted, I wanted a new car because my car fucking up. Car problems are the worst thing to have. So boom, uh, I started looking to get a Hellcat. I go searching around. I'm like, I applied for a Hellcat, a black one. It was a charger because it was cheap as hell. It was a 2015 Hellcat. I got denied, so I'm like, damn, maybe I can't get a Hellcat. So, all right, I'm gonna go try to get a scat pack with a wide body. So I go try to get a wide body charger scat pack, boom. Mind you, in the beginning, I said, I want to challenge your Hellcat, like I want to challenge your like, Challenges, they fit me more, so I want to challenge it. Boom, so I applied for a wide body scat pack. It was blue, it was brand new, it was a 2020. I remember it like it was yesterday. It smelled new as hell. I go to do this shit by myself, I apply for it, I get denied. So, I'm like, all right, fuck it. We're gonna thug it out with the scat pack, I guess. So I get my scat pack, my scat pack still fucking up. This one I had the verbal tune, all that. It was still fucking up. I guess months go by or some time go by. <clears throat> I fix, I get the scat pack fixed. It was something so minor that could have been fixed a long time ago that I didn't even know. And Dodge didn't know what the fuck they was talking about. I fixed it on, I fixed my scat pack on my own, if y'all ain't know. I fixed that car on my own. So boom, time go by, fix the car. I'm like, all right, cool. We back in the scat, we round around in the scat. I got my verbal tune put back on. We popping. We doing this. We doing that. So yeah. Um. Now it's like, alright, cool. I've been building my credit up a little bit more. Um, got some history a little bit. Now I want to try to get the Hellcat again. So I go look at this white Hellcat Charger. It was a 2016. I didn't want it because it didn't have Apple CarPlay. But before I didn't give a fuck what I got. I just wanted another car because my scat pack was fucking up. Then I go look at this Challenger Hellcat the same day. It was a 2017 yellow black stripes. It was a Challenger. I was like, all right, I never wanted a yellow car. I never thought I would have a yellow car, but let's try it out. So boom, I go to the dealership. They run my credit. They tell me your car note will be, what was my car note on my scat? I mean, on the cat, it, at first it was like $1,200. I come my mama asking for her advice. She was like, hell no, do not do that. Like, don't do it. In my head, I'm like, but you told me you ain't gonna help me. So it was like, if I want it, I got to. So we'll go back and forth for a little minute with Wu. I'm asking her, can you co-sign? I need, I want the car. She's like, no, get on your own if you want it. If not, I don't know what to tell you. So boom, I'm like, damn. I'm in, I'm in the bathroom at the dealership the whole time we on the phone I'm talking to her. I'm begging like, please, can you co-sign me? Please, I need this cat. She like, no. I'm like, damn, it's valid. You helped me as, as much as you did. I appreciate you. So boom, this is when I first started doing clothing. I had got my first clothing check and it was crazy. I didn't even get it. Well, not my first clothing check, my second clothing check. Cause my first job doing clothes, I didn't do good at all. Like, like I didn't even sell out. I had to put the shit on sale just to sell the rest of the pieces I had. That's why now I do pre-orders. I don't do stuff on hand and ship it out to you when you order it. No, I'm gonna get a pre-order. Cause when I did that back in the day, it didn't do good for me. I was fucking heartbroken. That's besides the point. I got a check from clothing, my clothing brand. So I'm like, I'm gonna get this cat, I'm gonna get me a cat. But they telling me like, <clears throat> you gotta put this amount down or you need a cosigner. So I'm like, book. Wanted me to put down $14,500. Mind you, like I said, I had just got paid from my clothing, my, my clothing brand, I had got paid from it. So boom, this is what I did. I got, uh, I made like 20,000 from clothing, I think. And 10K was profit. But the other 10K was for the pieces and the, the clothing. So this is what I did. I took that money, and boom, put it down in my Hellcat. Now I put down 14,500 to get the yellow Hellcat. I get that Hellcat. So I get the Hellcat, I pop out. Everybody like, what the fuck? This nigga got a Hellcat? This nigga young as hell with a Hellcat? How the fuck did he do this, this and that? Mind you, I do. I, at the time, I did not know how to save money. So when I got it, it's gone. Like, whatever I want, let's go get it. Cause you made this money, let's go get it. This is how I, this is how I was. So I, so I think like, this is how I think. If you want something, you're gonna get it. And if you get it, like say I want a car that I can't afford, I know I can't afford it. Even I said, I know, I, like when I got a Hellcat, I couldn't afford that shit. Oh, the car note wasn't 
1200 a month. It had went down to 800 or something like that. 700, something like that. Because of how much I put down. So boom, when I want something, I go get it. And it pushes me to make, like, say I want it. Say I want to go get a Lamborghini. Not even a Lamborghini. That's way too damn, way too much damn money. Say I wanted to go get another car today. In my head, I know that that's not a good investment at all. I got too much. I completely forgot where I left off because the camera died again, but fuck it. So I wrote it down in my note with the last thing I said. I said in my head, I know that's not a good investment. Oh yeah, that's, that's how I think. So boom, I'm the type of person where I think like, Okay, if I get this, I gotta find a way to make the money back because I just bought this. So I gotta find a way to make money. I got a hustling mindset, even though it's not the smartest mindset to do the shit that I do, it's just the way my mind works. And it's been working so far, so I'm gonna keep doing the damn shit, the same shit I do with also saving money because saving money is important. So I got, I had a type mindset to where like, every reason I want a car, but I can't afford the car. If I got enough money to get the car, I'm gonna get the car and I'm gonna find, I'm gonna figure all the rest of that shit out later. Like I'm gonna find out how to pay for the car later. Like that's later. First thing is get the damn car. So that's the type of mindset I had back then and now it is changing because I've grown and I've, I'm understanding more about life, money and you know what I'm saying, things like that. So with that being said, I got the Hellcat, I got all my cars off of my own profits from what I made, from what from YouTube and clothes, promo, sponsors, all that. So boom, get the Hellcat, make the content, start going crazier on YouTube, it's just here and there and there and there. So um, a couple months go by, I'm like, all right, I'm comfortable with the Hellcat, I'm making the payments good, I'm still making money, I'm still able to live the lifestyle that I was, that I wanna live while paying my bills. Boom, it's around the time I'm like, huh, I wanna move out, I wanna get my own spot. And when I get to thinking about something, boy, it's hard to stop me, because if I want something, I'm gonna get it. So I'm thinking like, right, I'm ready to move out. So I started going touring apartments, I tour like a couple apartments in the city because I always wanted to live in the city in a high rise with a nice view. I've always wanted that. And I've been, I used to write it down like I used to, I manifest bro, manifestation is real. I write it down. I go to apartments, they like 2,500 in rent. I'm like, what the fuck? I, I, want, I want, it's like I wanted a Lamborghini, but I only, I only had $10. I only want to pay $10 for the Lamborghini. It don't work like that. Like if you want something, you gotta pay for it. So they're telling me these high ass amount of rent. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, hell no, nah. like, I can't afford that shit. So boom, um, I ended up finding a nice spot. The reason why I moved into that building, the first building I lived in was, when I first walked in, it smelled good in there. Like the elevator smelled good, everything smelled good. All the other apartments I looked at, they didn't really smell too good. Like the garage, it was always something to minor. When I came into the first building I, I lived in, I was like, damn, that's the one. So boom, I get my first spot. I get approved my first spot. And that was another question somebody asked, when was the last time you cried? The last time I cried, the last time I cried was when I moved into my first apartment. That first night alone, I just sat there and cried. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I'm really here. Like, I don't have a job, bro. I'm really doing this shit. Like, like this is crazy. You, YouTube pumping, clothing brand pumping. I'm like, all right, cool. We got some momentum. Now we got, a, we got a car note we got to pay. We got insurance we got to pay. We got rent we got to pay. We got um, other monthly expenses, other monthly expenses such as gas, utilities, light bill, cable bill, internet bill. I don't even have cable. I don't pay for cable. That's like, niggas don't watch TV. I just watch YouTube. So I pay for internet only. And yeah, shit like that. So I'm like, all right, now it's time to learn to manage my money because I live on my own. If I don't pay my bills, I'm gonna get kicked out, which is an eviction on your shit. And if you get an eviction, that is no good. So boom, I'm like, all right, cool. Mind y'all, mind you, I told like how I told y'all, like way I think to make money is like, right, I want something, I'm gonna get it. But after I get it, I gotta find ways to keep it and maintain it. So I'm like, all right, cool. Get my first crib. Oh, before I moved out, I got a second car, a little project car, a Subaru BRZ. I had a goal to build it up, make it nice as hell. But when I was driving it, it just wasn't the same as I thought it was gonna be. So mind you, I moved out. I had two cars, a Hellcat, and a little cheap BRZ, it was like 14,000. So that was my like my dream build car, bro. I might get another one when I'm like wealthy as fuck and I just got hella money to blow. Well, yeah, so boom. Anyways, so I got a Subaru BRZ and a Hellcat. I got a Hellcat and a Daily. Mind you, I never drove that damn BRZ. I only drove, I only used to drive to go get haircuts. So boom, I moved into my first spot. I'm furnishing it, this and that. My mom helped me furnish it, this and that. Boom, get my first spot, I'm like, all right. Now this one the YouTube go from here, not even here. Cause when it was here, that's when we was doing the streaming. The YouTube go from here to that shit just shoot up. The videos I was doing, the vlogs I was doing, y'all was loving them like. And this mind you, just on my second channel, the Quan channel. Like I started posting vlogs when I was living in my mom's house. And I'm still doing vlogs on this channel. Mind you, I had stopped posting on the Poppy Q channel. I started a clothing brand. I was doing a clothing brand and a Quan channel. Those are my two sources of income at the time. 
and promos and shit like that. So, boom. Um, where did I leave off? So I moved to my spot. That's when the YouTube take off even more. That shit just shoot up. I'm like, I bet. I see my income coming in month, my next month's income. Cause YouTube, with YouTube, you get paid once a month. So I see next when I'm gonna get paid for next month. I'm like, All right, I'm gonna keep doing this shit. Keep on YouTube, keep on YouTube. Boom, months go by. I'm like, I, I want another car. Like, I don't know what's up with me and cars, but I just like cars, bro. I don't know. I'm like, I want another car. So boom, I was like, I want a charger. I want a black charger. No, this is when I wanted a Trackhawk bad as fuck. Like, bro, I was manifesting the Trackhawk so much. Every Trackhawk I seen on the road, I would record it. Every video of a Trackhawk I seen on Instagram or YouTube or TikTok, I would send it to my group chat with my bros. Everything. Like, I got hella videos in my phone of Trackhawks. And they're rare. Like, you rarely see them. So when I seen one on the road, I would record that shit. Like, I used to manifest. I still manifest, but I used to just. I manifested that car so like that shit was crazy. So I'm like, I want a track hawk. Mind you, track hawks are ex track hawks are expensive as fuck. Like if you young with a track hawk, that's a statement. Now look at that. It's like people look at watches like a young dude with a plain giant watch. That speaks volumes. A young dude with a track hawk is crazy. It's grown men that want that car. They can't get that car. Mind you, I'm making money from YouTube, clothes, promo, sponsorships, things of the nature. So boom, I want a track hawk. So I go try to get a track hawk. It's too expensive. I didn't get approved. This and that. They wanted too much down. I'm like, all right, I can't get a track off. So I'm like, all right, what's next? I want, I still want a new car. So I started looking at Wild Body Hellcat because when I had my, when I got my Challenger, it wasn't Wild Body. I, I made it a Wild Body myself. So I started looking for Wild Body Chargers. I get a Wild. Body. So this is when I come across the Green Hellcat, Green Goblin, and I seen. I used to watch Corey on YouTube. I seen everything. I know how everything was transpired, and to come to find out, the dude that won it sold it. When I seen it up there, I literally went up to the dealership next morning, looked at the car, sold my Challenger Hellcat that same day, went back up to the dealership the next day, and got that green Hellcat. Like, that shit was crazy. You too, all right, so I'm sitting down editing this Q&A and shit, and I forgot, I realized I missed out a, uh, an important topic, because y'all take some shit and run with it, so let me just say this. When I sold, what car was I talking about? When I sold my Challenger Hellcat, I privately sold it. Since y'all want to know everything, I'm going to tell you everything. I privately sold that car. I, I only owed like, how much did I own that car? I think I only owed like 40 something thousand. And then I went and private sold it. I posted it on Facebook Marketplace. I private, I sold it to a person, like a, a dude. He got a check. Sold it to him for like 60 something thousand. So with that being said, since I only owed 40 thousand, I profited like 20, not even 20K. It was less than 20K. I profited like 16,000, 17,000. I took that 17,000, the next day I went and bought Green Goblin. That was my down payment for Green Goblin. So, I, I forgot I missed that point part. So y'all want to think I'm just pulling money out my ass. Money that I got to buy Green Goblin was the money that I got from my Hellcat Challenger. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop back into this. Let's go ahead and hop back into this interesting ass story time. Since y'all so invested in my life, let's do it. YouTube still going up, shit still rising. And time go by, time go by. I got the Green Hellcat and the BRZ still. I got, still got two cars, a Daily and a Hellcat. Mind you, I didn't drive a Daily at all. I got the Green Hellcat. Okay, I didn't have to do no miles to it because shit already got everything you fucking want in the Hellcat. So yeah, time go by, time go by. All right, I still want a track hawk. I don't got a track hawk yet. I still want a track hawk. I'm like, huh, I'm going to start looking at it. I'm going to start going back and look at more track hawks, try to get another track hawk. So I go look at this red track hawk. Mind you, I didn't go there with the intentions of getting the car because I'm thinking like, I'm just going to go look and manifest it. I'm going to look at the car, manifest it, record it, manifest it. I go up there, I get approved for the car with trading in my BRZ and putting down $10,000. I put down $10,000, I traded in my daily, the BRZ I had, I got a track hawk. Everything in my name from, every, every car that I've had has been in my name since my first Hellcat. So, but I didn't get the track hawk that same day because I had to fix something and I had to wait two weeks. Anyways, so yeah, got the track hawk. Now niggas is like, all right, how the fuck is this nigga getting money? How the fuck is this nigga getting these cars? I'm telling y'all, but credit matters. If y'all want credit tips, go go follow me on Patreon. Top link in the description down below. Like that shit matters, bro. I was thinking I was going to get like 40, 50,000 now. Cause I be, I be watching niggas. I'm a, I be watching YouTube videos on how much people put down to get these cars. And they be saying these crazy numbers. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not doing that. But I know about credit. So my credit is good. I got good history. So I'm like, all right, cool. I apply for the track hawk. I get the track hawk with 10K down plus the trader. Boom. I'm like, in my head, this shit is crazy. I'm like, what the fuck? I got a track hawk, nigga. I'm 19 years old with a track hawk. What the fuck? So I'm like, all right, begin somewhere. I pop out with a track. Everybody's like, yo, no fucking way. This nigga got a track hawk. This is crazy. 
So many people was happy for me, but it's also people that's hating on me. Like, all right, what is this nigga doing? How is he getting this fucking money? YouTube and clothes. YouTube and clothes. Subscribers do not matter on YouTube. The amount of money you get paid from YouTube matters based off of your CPM, your view, and your view dur how many views you got, and your, your view duration, how long somebody watches your video. You can have a 5,000 subscribers, good views. If you're somebody watching your video throughout the whole video or a good period of time of the video, you're getting paid. I don't know where y'all don't, I don't, a lot of y'all not YouTubers, so y'all don't get that, but that's how this YouTube shit work. YouTubers, I don't, I've seen, DDG tweeted this shit. He said, YouTubers and streamers are out here making more money than rappers. If he telling y'all that, just think, I ain't saying nothing else about that. So boom, yeah, I got a track hawk. All right, cool. I got a track hawk and a Hellcat now. Hellcats and track hawks. The Lil Durk song was popular a couple months before. I'm like, I'm really living this shit. Like, I'm really living this life. So, I say this to say, I say all of that to say, anything is possible, bro. I don't scam. I'd have been, I've been working, grinding my ass off, like since fucking high school. Like I used to make, I had to, I had to get good grades just to get money from my parents, bro. I saved up, started doing YouTube, started getting paid, clothing, paid, putting all this shit together, bro. Some way, somehow, I'm making this shit work. And instead of all y'all calling the next nigga a scammer, salute that nigga, bro. Cause it's a lot of black young dudes out here that's not doing what I'm doing, and I'm doing it while I, with a smile on my face, trying to show y'all away, motivating y'all. And what y'all say? Oh, he scammed. He only reason he got money cause he scammed. Never did that, bro. I'm trying to let y'all know, like, it's a way to do it. Like, it's ways to make money out here. You know how much money there's in the fucking world? It's, it's y'all niggas sitting on y'all ass on TikTok, typing in the comments, you a scammer, this and that. He ain't making no money by doing that. Go find a way to make you some bread. Put your bread up. Put your bread in the right places. Build your credit up, cause credit is key. Like, if I ain't had no credit, I wouldn't have got none of my cars. Simple as that. I'm not buying cars cash. I'm not buying cars cash. Like, that's just what's not happening. I don't think I would ever go put down a hundred thousand on a car unless it's like a Lamborghini or some shit. But probably still not even then, bro. Hell no. Nah. That's like you can put down that hundred thousand, pull out dealership, somebody hit your car, total your car. It's up with all your money is gone. That down payment is gone. So I don't think I would ever put down hella money on a car. Like it's just not me. But that was that. Hopefully that addressed everything because I just had to let y'all niggas know. Like that's I had to break it down because y'all niggas just don't understand. Like niggas work for what they got. It's just harder for when a nigga working so hard and doing what he do, and then you just got hella people saying, "Oh, he get this money because he scammed." Oh. The only reason he got this and that, cause he scammed. It's not how this shit go, bro. And even when I go to dealership to try to get my cars, and I show them my bank statements, cause mind you, you need to show proof of how you getting your income. They see that shit and they're like, damn, what the fuck? How was he doing this at this age? And I'm like, YouTube clothes is what I do. I got my apartment, usually high rise, like good high rise apartments. Yeah, people make fake pay stubs and shit like that, but I don't have a job, so how the fuck can I make a fake pay stub? I had to show them my bank statement, tax shit, and my clothing brand payment, like the shit I get from my clothing brand. That's the only reason I got approved into my spot, honestly, my clothing brand. Because YouTube, I wasn't really making that much from YouTube, because you gotta make three times the rent. I wasn't making three times. What was my rent? 2600 last year. I was not making that a month on YouTube, but clothes was a different story, so when I showed them the clothes, it was like, all right, cool, we can approve. I say that to say, everything I got, I've worked for. So, I hope that cleared up everything. If y'all watched this whole shit, hopefully y'all did. Hopefully that cleared up everything. If not, I don't really give a damn. I just got it off my chest because that's all I, I, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to get it off my chest because I'm just tired of seeing the damn. He's a scammer. Nah, bro. I, I work my ass off. Not gonna lie. But that is that. I'm gonna answer a couple more questions. That's gonna wrap up today's video. Next question. Like, this is literally the next question. Like, I swiped over from a, I swiped over from a scammer question. The next question. Do you take the squad? Like, what? This shit is crazy. All right, next, next question. The next, next question was this. Like, bro, look at this shit, bro. It's just insane if you would just think. Next question, man. Why do you always have on a balaclava? But the reason I wear these shits is because I hate my hair touches my face. I hate my hair is in the view of my vision. Like, my hair falls down in front of my face. I don't really like that. When I was in high school, I used to love it. And that's when I started my free forms. So, you can't, well, I can change it, but I never got a retwist. The reason I wear, always wear a balaclava or something over my head is because I do not like my hair in my face. I really don't even like my hair touching my ears. As odd as it sounds, it's just how I am. But that's that next question. I kid y'all not, bro. This is literally all I get. Next question. If you had to restart your channel over, what was the first video you would post? I would post a lit ass vlog. I swear that should be crazy. How did you really afford all them Hellcats? I just told y'all. Favorite underground artist right now. 
I don't know. What advice do you have for me at 15? And I don't work a nine to five. And when I get older, find what you want to do, manifest, work towards that goal. Yeah, just really work towards what you want. You ain't going to get what you want if you don't work for it. Nothing in life comes easy. Next question, how many streams of income do you have? YouTube, clothing. I started breeding dogs, but I don't think I'm going to do that again because that shit was too stressful. Not only for me, but for my mom. What we got? We got promo, sponsorship. This is hella shit that goes along the line with social media. Like social media is like a tree and all the branches is like hella different sources of income from social media. Um, I have a cool amount of streams of income if that answers your question next question when is the last time you cried and bounced back hard after when i got my first apartment i cried my ass off first night next question what are, what's one of your biggest fears my biggest fear is going broke next question have you ever got chased by the cops now nah, i pull over let's just say i get chased let's just say I was to run from the cops, right? Yeah, I got a fast ass car, but somebody, a driver could not be paying attention, get over in my lane, I hit them, they die, boom. Now I go to jail for fucking vehicular homicide, or some shit like that, I don't know. It's just some shit I don't wanna worry about or nothing like that, so no, I don't run from the police. Every time I get pulled over or lit up by the cops, I pull over because I don't got time to be dealing with no, none, none of that. Did you ever finish high school or did you drop out? Finished high school with a 3.8 GPA. I was top 25 of my class. I got an award. My my cap and gown was a different color from the rest of the class that wasn't top 25. If y'all didn't know, I wasn't a dumb nigga, bro. I'm telling y'all, like, if y'all been watching me, y'all know. When did you first lose your virginity? I lost my virginity when I was 17. What made you get into fashion and cars? Told y'all really. Uh, in that story if y'all heard it camera set up i got a sony a6400 with a 10 to 18 milliliter lens rope the most expensive shotgun rope mic i just yeah i think it's a rope video mic pro go some shit like that I don't know. let me know if y'all want to let me know if i should upgrade my camera quality to or is this valid for now do you think you'll be the same person if you lost social media right now <coughs> Do you think you'd be the same person if you lost social media right now? I ain't gonna lie, yes, I would most definitely be the same person because I'm, me on social media is who y'all wanna see, so I'm myself already, if that makes sense. What songs do you gotta replay right now? Lil Baby new album, Scissor new album, and Rock Ken new album, and all I've been playing, and Baby Drill a new album. Did you go to Banneker? Did you like Banneker when you, did you like Banneker? When you went there, if y'all don't know, the high school I went to was Benjamin Banneker High School, and I ain't gonna lie, from middle school going to high school, hell nah, I did not wanna go to Banneker. I was like, fuck. No, that's cool. Bad as fuck. But I went there. All, all my folks went there. We was all bad. I love the experience. Like Bannerfield was probably one of the best experiences I ever had because it's a bad school. It, well, it was a bad school, and I was still doing my thing. Like I was learning. Like, like I know how to be in certain places, like where there's a lot going on, and I can still focus. That's just that's what Bannerfield taught me. Next question. I'm gonna ask two more questions after this. I'm gonna wrap up this video. What the Next question. How is your mental health now? Nobody really never asked me this question, but as of recently with this vlogging shit, it's been down. Like, I ain't, I ain't really been feeling myself, but I'm gonna keep doing it for y'all. I'm gonna try to keep doing it for y'all. But as of recently, it's been my, it's been a little low. Like, my energy been a little low because this shit's stressful as hell. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm gonna get through it, man. Life goes on. Bills gotta be paid at the end of the day. So yeah, hope that answered your question. Next question. Last question. If you could move out of ATL to another state, where would you move? Uh, he said another state, so I'm assuming I gotta stay in the United States. I'd probably move to Houston or I wouldn't move to Cali. Nah, I wouldn't. Nah. Even though that's what I always said I wanted to do as a kid, I said I always wanted to live in California. Probably either Houston or some other ducked off, some ducked off ass state. I don't know. Last question. I need to learn to build my credit. If you want to learn to build your credit, hit the top link in the description down below. Subscribe to the Patreon. And yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope y'all enjoy. I hope I cleared up all the rumors for y'all, man. I hope I cleared up everything. All y'all TikTok heads watch the whole video whole story and everything because i didn't just let it all out let y'all niggas know everything since y'all think y'all know it all i gave y'all what y'all needed to know so with that being said it's your boy kwan cousin my video game stay tuned for tomorrow's vlogmas video and i'm out